hello. Dolly, are you gonna, are you in or out? Dolly doesn't know if she wants to be in the video or out of the video. How we are doing? Is everyone good? I am still not feeling great after Saturday. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hello, dolls. Big girl. I'm still not feeling great from Saturday night. I think I'm just so old now and I can't actually cope with it. Like, literally. Dolls, what was I like on Sunday? Dolls hated me on Sunday. You had the most boringest day, didn't you? Anyway, enough of that. Lay down with buds. So, welcome back to my channel, being Kelsey. Today, I'm going to do September faves. So, my favourite things that I've brought, got or watched in September. So let me crack on. And also, can I just say that I'm not looking great either today. I'm just feeling like, I don't know whether it's from going out of the weekend, but I'm like super dry. I suffer really bad from um, dandruff and just dry skin. Like if you can see on my eye there, that I've got really bad dry skin and all in my eyebrows. So I'm feeling really sorry for myself today. I need to moisturize. Anyway, back to the video. So I'm gonna start dolls. Lay down. I'm going to start with my fave beauty slash hair product. And that is my IQ. Can you see that? My IQ brush. Ah! Which is so cool and slick. So that's the little case that it comes in, which I absolutely love. If I keep this in my dressing table, I won't actually lose my brush because all the time I'm always like, where have I put my hairbrush? Where's my hairbrush? But anyway, this is the IQ brush. So it has a really nice metallic pink, obviously pink, my fave colour, metallic case. Is that what you, is it a casing? And it's just such a good brush. Yesterday from the weekend, if you saw the picture of me, I wore my extensions. So because obviously on Sunday I was in bed all day, I had really bad mats all at the bottom of my hair. I had really bad knots because obviously where you back comb your hair, you put your extensions in, I'd literally got full on mats. So this was amazing. It's from Aiku and it got all the knots out. So I would definitely recommend this and it's one of my September faves. And now you know in my video on Sunday, which actually went out yesterday, Monday, because obviously I was so hungover in bed on Sunday that I couldn't possibly release a video. I said that I hadn't been shopping for ages. So when I went to Primark to do the Primark shopping haul, I picked myself up some really cute dresses. My dogs are fighting behind me. This is, you're making it really hard for me to concentrate with all your fighting. Fighting, uh, stop it. So I picked up these really cute autumn dresses. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see. They're like that. Let me zoom out a sec. Zooming out, zooming out. I don't know if you can see properly, but look how cute they are. I love this one. And this is like a suede material from Primark. It was only 10 pounds. That was literally like my seat. Can't talk about jumping my grave. I thought these would look really nice with, in autumn with my knee high boots or even like long socks and a little pair of like dolly shoes and then underneath a roll neck or a shirt I've got a really nice hey dolly shirt with I wore it in my my brain's gone in my lookbook the gold collared shirt and I think that would look so nice with this but me being me I didn't just pick up one of these dresses I also got it in a leather and this too I'll hold it up again how nice is that in like a mold plummy sort of colour. Oh no, a wine, a wine colour. And again, £10 and a really nice detail in the front, a zip, a zip detail with also two little pockets. Again, I thought that would look really nice with knee high boots, a little black t-shirt underneath. Dogs on my lap. What are you like? Yeah, little black t-shirt underneath. Also, you can wear it to any occasion, cinema, if you're going on a date night, if you're just going out with your friends shopping. It, you can either dress it up or you could wear it out like clubbing with like something a little bit less underneath. So I thought they were great buys and bargains. They were only £10. So I spent £20 on dresses in Primark. This is ridiculous. Can I just all show you what my dog's actually like? Look at her. So I'm trying to film a video. Look at you. It's because she's not been out yet. So they're both around me because they want to go on a 
Anyway, back to my September fave. Now, another favourite of mine is, I don't know if you've seen or you've checked out Hey Dolly yet, but the Cloud Onesie. <gasps> It is so comfy. I love the colouring of the white and the light blue. And honestly, it is the most comfiest onesie. I thought last year's onesies were super comfy. We've absolutely smashed it this year. I love it. It's the best onesie. It's so snuggly. I'll put a picture up in the corner now of me modelling the onesie. If you go on to Hey Dolly and go on to Loungewear, that's how you can purchase. The onesie is £25, the cloud onesie, and the unicorn slippers are £15, so you can get the whole outfit for £40. A nice little nightwear outfit. The cloud Hey Dolly onesie. Yes. Now to TV. TV has been really good in September. On a Sunday, me and Tom are loving Victoria. I don't know if any of you have watched Victoria. If you haven't, I would catch up on it on ITV Hub or ITV... Is it ITV Player? I just love... Look at me, I'm just so positive and loving. What I really like about it is, well, I love Jenna Coleman. She is amazing and she is absolutely smashing it. Obsessed with her right now as an actress. She is unbelievable as Victoria. I just love everything about it. I, I think they portrayed it really, really well. I think ITV have done an amazing job. The love story in it is really, really sweet. Tom Hughes plays... Ooh, he looks handsome in that picture. Yeah, Tom Hughes plays Prince Albert, and he does a, a wicked job as well. But rumour has it, Jenna Coleman and Tom Hughes are together in real life, and that just makes me super happy as well. So, like, they make love on set, you know, they make love in real life. How romantic is that? I love the period that it's set in, and at, when I was at school, I loved history. Even though I didn't do amazing in my GCSEs, I was meant to do really well. In my mark I got a B in history and I loved it and I thought I was going to absolutely smash it in the exam. Something happened in my exam and people were being naughty. I got a D and I was so upset like you don't actually understand that was the one exam that I found. I didn't fail it, fail it but obviously a D is not a pass so I was just so gutted because I was so good at history. Victoria, if you've not watched it you need to watch Victoria. It's so good! And Channel 4 what have you done to me? National treasure. If there's a trailer online, I'll try and put it up here now for you guys to watch. Again, if you haven't watched it, you've got to watch it. Even on Gogglebox, they were talking about it. It is so good. Julia Walters and Robbie Coltrane. That's it. That's all I can say. Last week, the scene Julia Walters did with her daughter, I just don't even know what to say. Like, she's getting a BAFTA for that. Like, honestly... When, when when I watch that scene, me and Kelsey always text during programs that we're like really into. So the whole way through National Treasure, we're like, I don't want to say too much, but basically it's based on, he's a famous um, comedian and it's years on and someone's come forward, well quite a few girls have come forward now and said that he did bad things to them. They were at a young age, so it's quite a... Um, intense storyline. Julie Walters is there with her daughter and the scene was just, it's just out of this world. Like when she wins a BAFTA, me and Kelsey were texting, oh that's what I was saying. When me and, me and Kelsey were texting like each other like, oh my god she's just won a BAFTA for that performance. If you've not watched it, you need to watch it. There's only been two episodes so far. So if you catch up now, tonight, it's on tonight, watch tonight at 9pm, you've got to watch National Treasure. It is so, so Good. I hope you guys have enjoyed my September favourites. Thank you all for getting involved yesterday with my Primark call. I really loved it that everyone like retweeted like and I hope the winner loves their goods. Have a good week. I'll see you in a day's time. Have a good Wednesday. Love you all. Bye.